Hello and welcome to Sport Classics and the night that Leeds United booked themselves a place in the European Cup final. It was April 1975 and they were in Spain to take on Johan Cruyff and Barcelona, defending a 2-1 lead from the first leg at Ellen Road. This is how a sometimes bad-tempered match unfolded, watched by commentator Brian Moore. Really is a night for strong nerves here in Barcelona and so far as Leeds United are concerned, some very strong and efficient defence as well. And there's lead skipper Billy Bremner, a man with an enormous responsibility here tonight. Again meeting Johan Cruyff, the two skippers who met at Ellen Road a fortnight ago. The referee tonight, Eric Linnemeyer, a 42-year-old clerk from Linz in Austria, taking charge of his 83rd international or European game. So these then are the men who are holding the hopes of England really in their hands tonight. The team of Leeds United. They'll have Stewart in goal, Trevor Cherry at number two in place of Paul Reaney. Jimmy Armfield saying that uh, he thought that Trevor Cherry would be the more positive on the night. Frankie Gray at three, Billy Bremner four, McQueen five and Hunter six. Maidley at seven, Alan Clark eight, Joe Jordan nine, Terry Yoros at ten, and Peter Lorimer at eleven. With Barcelona having made one change from the side that lost at Ellen Road, they brought in an attacker, Clares, their top scorer, and left out defender, Costas. So now we are set for one of the most important nights in the history of Leeds United. The place at stake is a place in the European Cup final in Paris at the end of May. And Leeds in all white now, kicking off, attacking the goal to our left. Barcelona in their familiar red and blue stripes and blue shorts. Here's Neskins, through to Rexash, the man who scored a hat-trick here against Feyenoord in an earlier round of the European Cup. Forward for Cruyff. McQueen was watching him closely, but it bounded back again for Cruyff towards Rexash. And Bremner now can bring it away for Leeds. Leeds with everybody at the moment back behind the ball. Here's Rexash losing it though to Yorin. Lorimer going a long way. It's good to see Leeds United coming out. Jimmy Armfield said that it would be suicidal to try and hold back and protect a 1-0 lead with a goalless draw. And of course, if Leeds could pop one in, that really would put the cast amongst these uh, pigeons here in Barcelona. Clark. Oh, that was a wicked challenge from behind by Gallego. And yet he was allowed to get away with it. Well, I hope the Austrian referee is a little more severe on that sort of challenge. Saderni. And here's Mourinho. Brazilian World Cup player. Swept wide onto the far side there. Migreli. It's a good ball there for Asensi. Played now for Neskins as Barcelona strike forward and Neskins with the shot and Stuart has to go down. Good shot there, a good break by Neskins. It's the sort of pressure that Leeds are going to face for this next hour and a half. Bremner. Played for Clark. Billy Bremner again. Now Neskins, Dutch World Cup player with a sweeping pass there to find Carlos Rexash. Well played by Frankie Gray. De La Cruz, a deep cross on the far side. Oh, McQueen couldn't quite get to it. And Barcelona very nearly, nearly struck there through Heredia. Very good cross indeed by De La Cruz, always curling away from Stewart. And Heredia, the Argentinian, couldn't quite make the contact. Towards Joe Jordan, a good leap there by Jordan. Now this could be the moment for Lorimer, yes! Peter Lorimer, silence here in Barcelona. 
Barcelona. They're absolutely stunned by that goal. A beautiful goal for Leeds United. Scored superbly by Peter Lorimer, but made unquestionably for him by Joe Jordan. A great leap there by Jordan. And Lorimer took it beautifully in his stride. Past Stadurni. And that's a tremendous breakthrough for Leeds. Quite. Clares. Cruyff again for Barcelona. That little bit of acceleration and there's the cross going in. And I think he's given a penalty. No, he hasn't. Thought for a moment, it looked as though there was a handball there in that, uh, as that cross came over for one dreadful moment. It's a throw for Leeds, or maybe it's an offside. It's an offside and a free kick. Crowd not liking this Leeds United time wasting, and certainly Leeds are really slowing things down. Clark caught well offside again there. Really, one of the younger members of the Barcelona side, Cruyff, who is in fact 28 on Friday. Gallego, another veteran, 31. Cruyff. Played there for Naiskins. Oh, Clark giving it to Yorath. Yorath looking to see if there's any way back, and he beats Naiskins. A little touch off there to that trusty left boot of Norman Hunter, except at that time it goes straight into touch. De La Cruz with the throw. Rex Arsch to Gallego. Played on for Nice Kids again. Nicely nodded in there for Rex Arsch. There's the shot. The top of the And just over that Leeds United crossbar, there was a warning there. Lovely build up there, a lovely header in by Naiskin, caught on the volley and just over the bar. Aredia having a little flick at Gordon McQueen after he played that ball. Gallego to Naiskin, a nice turn. Played again for Heredia, hit by Torres. <laughs> a goal kick. Well, there's a danger again. Heredia, this Argentinian number eight. Stewart didn't get a touch to it. Just over the bar. Played down the line for Jordan. It's got to be a free kick to Leeds United. Surely, yes, by the foul of Migueli. Got a lot of blood on the front of his shirt now, Joe Jordan. Took quite a knock. I think it was probably on the nose very early in the game. arguing at the moment exactly where the free kick should be taken. I would have thought Barcelona's main aim would be that they would want to keep the game moving. This one goal down. And Clares can be no more than five yards off the ball. And if it's good enough for the referee to make a fuss about Leeds United getting ten yards back, he must do the same for, for Barcelona. Nobody offside. And Lorimer, in fact, could get hold of this one. Cardone right out of his goal. Now can Lorimer do something with this as he's crossed in? Clark is right in there. Bremner on the far side. My goodness, that was nearly a terrible mistake by Barcelona. And Leeds very nearly made the most of it. They thought it was going out of play. Nobody offside. Lorimer came in. That was almost a foul there by Sardoni. He played the advantage. Too high there for Clark. And Bremner behind. Cruyff, Asensi to Cruyff. Beautiful conditions here. The pitch in really wonderful trim at the end of the season. Rex Ash, hurling another of those crosses in. Oh. Flores got it. 
it but couldn't hit it in the right direction. Could have been a very dangerous volley right on half time. So it's a goal kick to Leeds. those sort of passes about they want them to come forward and that's just what they're doing now with Mason there's a shot and a goal kick surprised how much room Mason was given there and Leeds mustn't do that too often but it'll be David Stewart with a goal kick and he won't get it in before half time the whistle goes a very good first half indeed for Leeds United, defending with all their usual character and their method, and with a lot of steel and coolness as well. They've counter-attacked well, and they've scored the only goal of this first half through Peter Lorimer to give themselves an excellent chance of going through to that European Cup final. 45 minutes remain. Will Leeds United do it? We'll be back after a short break to bring you that second half with a half-time score then. Barcelona nil, Leeds United 1. Barcelona then now be kicking off, attacking the goal to our left, and they brought on a substitute, Rife, a fullback, in place of Asensi, a forward, which seems quite astonishing. With Barcelona this goal down to Leeds United, scored by Peter Lorimer, and needing at least two to keep this game alive beyond the 90 minutes, and three to win it outright tonight. Of course, if Barcelona do score two in this second half, we go to extra time, and after that, there is a provision for the uh, tie to be decided on penalties. But certainly on the basis of the first half, Leeds look well capable of being able to look after themselves in defence. And Barcelona, if anything, looking a little short on confidence, coming forward, searching for the goals they so badly need now. Neskins turning it back to Rife. Heredia, Neskins. Leeds playing the second half with the same 11 who played the first. It's Norman Hunter. Hunter feeling that he was rather savagely dealt with after the ball had gone by Heredia. The linesman, in fact, indicating it's a free kick to Barcelona. No, it's a throw. Well, they've sorted it out, and it's Heredia with the throw then for Barcelona. Rife, hitting it on. Oh, and the touch there. Oh, it's good. Has to go down. And the referee is giving a free kick to Leeds United. The whistles were resounding around this stadium. They thought for a moment he was pointing to the penalty spot. But the number 11, Clares, very nearly got the touch that would have put it past Stewart. The Leeds goalkeeper bounding on that ball. And the Austrian referee sorting out one or two things there. We can see it again now. Tremendous shot there. McQueen didn't know where it was, but Stewart did. And the free kick given then to Leeds United. Got a wait for support. And Bremner getting caught up there with Gallego. And the referee is going to show a card, a yellow card to Gallego. Well, he was guilty of one or two rather brutal challenges very early in the game, Gallego. And I think it's quite clear that the referee has got to take a very strong hand in this game. There have been one or two rather unpleasant things that have happened early on in this second half. Heredia is furious with the referee. I think he wants them to get Billy Bremner off the field and the Barcelona players are carrying him off and the Leeds United players are protesting and the referee has got to act strongly. Bremner still down. Barcelona want him off the field. Leeds want him on the field. And Bremner will get the treatment off the field 
I fancy he'll be on again fairly quickly. Well, it's a free kick then for Leeds. Yarath playing it for Jordan. Played on for Alan Clark. And a goal kick to Barcelona. Bremner at this moment still off the field. Bremner back on. Hunter lost that one in the air. Rex Ash for Barcelona. Cruyff on the far side. Gray going out there and he committed himself and Cruyff got past it. Bremner went in hard on Cruyff and the crowd didn't like that. And the referee says that's got to be a free kick. That was a challenge by Billy Bremner. And so it's a free kick. Cruyff will take it. One of those free kick specials of his curling away. Oh, and a save and a good one there by Stewart from Mourinho. Floating away from that Leeds defence all the time. Mourinho up well and down went Stewart. Again, the ball hit high towards Mourinho and Gordon McQueen was there. Rex has turning it in. Oh, a great save again by David Stewart. The ball planted a long way forward. Mourinho, who's been planted forward all the time there. A nice little header there by De La Cruz and a good save by Stewart. And still Leeds United leading by a golden hill. Crowd angry that the Austrian referee didn't play the advantage there. Now it's going to be another free kick, yes, for the foul by Bremner on Riffi. Garrett took a knock as well. But Leeds will have to retreat and face this free kick, which Gallego will hoist into the Leeds penalty area again. And if Barcelona break through once, the pressure will be enormous on Leeds United then. Here's Gallego with the free kick, curling in there once again. Flores, yes! Flores has done it! And Leeds now under enormous pressure. As the cross came in, the number 11 headed it wide of Stewart, and Flores has scored for Barcelona. <laughs> 22 minutes to go now. And as I said a moment ago, if they get one, then Leeds are going to be under enormous pressure. And Barcelona are really going to pressurise them now. One more goal by Barcelona will take us into extra time. Two more goals will take Barcelona through. Now the crowd are really getting behind Barcelona. And the fight really is on for Leeds. McQueen is in trouble, and McQueen is sent off! McQueen has been sent off for something that happened there, and now Leeds are in trouble. Well, the referee had no uh, doubts at all about it. We can see it again now. Yes, that was what caused Gordon McQueen to be sent off. He threw the punch. Whether he connected or not, I couldn't tell you. The referee said that he did. McQueen has been sent off, and in a matter of a minute, it's all gone sour for Leeds. Gallego to Miguel e. A whole action now, centred almost entirely in this Leeds United half of the field as the ball comes in again towards Flores, and again Norman Hunter is there for Leeds. Here's Naiskin, there's a shot by Rex Ash, and it'll come back to Flores. Good go! And finally, Frankie Gray has got it away. My, oh my, oh my. Well, Cruyff was right there, it seemed, on his own in the six-yard area or just outside it. As Gray tries to get Jordan on his way again. Barcelona in the situation where they've got to take every risk. And Leeds are in a situation where they dare not make a mistake. And Barcelona are coming at them again with Clive. 
Flicked on again for Johan Neeskens. Rife trying to cross it once more. And had that ball gone, I didn't think it had gone, but the linesman who was there said that it had. And I was directly in line with that goal line. But it's a corner for Barcelona. One of the most gripping European games that I can remember. As Barcelona hurl that corner in again, and again Norman Hunter gets it away for Leeds United. Gallego turning it back in again. He looked upside. Is he no? Oh, and again it's pushed away by Leeds. Well, there certainly looked to be at least one Barcelona player offside there. But Leeds have escaped. And still are hanging on with the skin of their teeth as Gallego turns another one in there. The Barcelona forwards are lining up again to try and get the ball away. And that time it's a free kick for Leeds. And we are now inside the last minute. I can't remember a European Cup tie quite like this. Clark, they really are a matter of seconds away. Lorimer with the throw, in for Joe Jordan. And it's not it back by Gallego. Sagani wanted to get it away quickly and he's found Mason. We've played over a minute now of injury time as Rexesh crosses the ball once more. Right. Can he yet pull out a bit of magic for Barcelona? There's the pass, but De La Cruz wasn't there. And Lorimer did a very good job indeed for Leeds United there. Another look at that Austrian watch by the referee. Are Leeds going to get there at last? The one place they wanted to be for so long, and that's it! Leeds United are in the European Cup final. They have saved themselves against a lot of pressure in the last 20 minutes. Their professionalism and their skill and their style finally saw them through. The final scoreline here in Barcelona. Leeds United 1, scored by Peter Lorimer. Barcelona 1, scored by Claris in the second half. Leeds go through to the European Cup final. Philip Bremner and his team go across to that band of Leeds United supporters who come all the way from Yorkshire for this moment. So terrific scenes as Leeds went through to the final, but that was to be a step too far as they lost to Bayern Munich in Paris.